like a good place to coffee up. Yeah, and coffee's all we got. Coffee? I want something to eat. I'm hungry. Pee-wee, I'm ashamed of you. Here you are, supposed to be a fearless member of the Arizona State Rangers. And you're always complaining about your stomach. But Napoleon said an army travels on his stomach. As far as I'm concerned, I'd rather travel on a horse. Besides, you're in the Rangers now. Hey, quit arguing, you two. Let's get a fire going. Look! 
The dirty cow's taking our horses. Well, we got two of them anyway. Come on. Well, looks like you gents got here just in time. Much obliged for running off those outlaws. You're rangers, ain't you? Yes, sir. My name is Tex Rand, and uh, <laughs> uh, these are my pals. Yeah. Tex, Don, and Pee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you. Uh, uh, my name is Louise Rogers. I, I'd like to thank you, too. Well, that's oh, all right, Miss Rogers. Uh, we was only doing our duty. Where are you gents heading? To the ranger post at Desert Wells. But them hombres ran off with our horses. Well, maybe you better ride in with us. It looks like we might have to, that is, if you don't mind. Fine bunch of rangers we are, losing our horses. I'll bet we'll be the laughing stock of a new post. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, climb in and we'll get moving. All right, sir. Sorry you're not getting out here, Miss Rogers. So just where are you going? Well, I'm going on to Ducati, across the border. Ducati? Hey, that, that's nothing but a saloon and a water hole. Nevertheless, that's where I'm going. Well, I hope we we'll see you again. I hope so, too. Yeah, yeah we all hope so. We all hope so. Well, Goodbye, yeah. boys. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Rogers. Thanks again, fellas. See you later. So long. Good luck for you. Good luck. Goodbye, Miss Rogers. Bye. 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 Well, looks like the whole outfit has turned out to greet us. Yeah. Pretty not be we. Those must be our three new men. They don't look like the best men in the service to me. Bubble butchers, I'd call them. Captain Hayes? Yes? My name is Rand. Doc Thornton. Pee Wee McDougal. Uh, we're your three new rangers. So I gather. But where are your horses? I, uh, uh, we, uh, we left them in Tucson and rode in for stage. Oh, I see. Rankin, show these men to their quarters. All right, men. If those are the best men in the service, I'm resigning. I wouldn't be too hasty to pass judgment, Chief. Rand's got a mighty fine record in the service, and he always has the other two work with him. Oh, dear. 
Bunch of howling coyotes to me. Good evening, Captain. Good evening, Rand. I enjoyed your singing. Glad to have you men with us. Well, thank you. You see, we have a bad situation down here on the border. There's an organized bunch of cattle thieves working from below the line. So far, we haven't been able to capture them. Yes, sir. Uh, I heard about it at headquarters. I have a plan that I think will work. But it'll take time. Well, that's fine. Tell me about it. Well, Captain... Get ready for target practice. Yes, sir. All right, men. Get ready for target practice. Captain Hayes. Captain Hayes. What's the trouble, Gibson? The border gang. They got our herd. Get the men mounted. to this raiding business right now. We'll post a guard on every pass. Rand, you take your two boys and watch the local herd and gather your pass. They'll probably strike their necks. Yes, sir. Hickson, you post the balance of the man east of here. Yes, sir.
That must be the walker spread down there. You boys stay here and keep your eyes open. I'm going to have a look around. Had a close call. What? What is it, Senor? What happened? Somebody took a pot shot at you back yonder, and your horse bolted, and I just happened along. Thank you, Senor. It is well for me that you did. Are you going to be all right? Though? It's just a crease. Hmm. My friend Jaime was poor. You are of the Rangers, yes? Yeah? Yes, sir. My name is Tex Rand. I am Captain Mendoza of the Mexican Rurales. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to know you, sir. The hospitality on the side of the border might be much better. <laughs> well, uh, I just started working this territory today. Soon you will know what you are in for. But I'm glad you came. And if I can ever help you, just call on me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Captain. Uh, I'll remember that. And now you better let me help you get back to your headquarters. Oh, it is not necessary, senor. I am all right now. Gracias. Hasta la vista, amigo. Adios. Everything all right? Yeah, I got him. That's fine. Now we'll get rid of these rangers. Get going, Pete. Devil! Devil! Weak Trotto! Follow me! Maybe we better follow him. Uh-huh. Work like a charm. Now then, let's get that herd quick. that fella could have went to. He must have been in an awful hurry. Look, he dropped his pocketbook. Maybe we'd better take it back to him. Yeah.
be three kinds of a ringtail monkey if the herd ain't gone. Yeah. We'll be four monkeys when they find out it's our fault. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go on back and take our medicine. But I tell you, Captain, we was never so surprised in our lives as we was when we come back and found them that cattle gone. Where was you when all this happened, Ram? Well, well, I was looking over the upper end of the valley. You got anything you wish to say, Pee-wee? Well, uh, I, uh... There's nothing you can say, Captain. It's plain as day. They're either yellow and back off of the job or else... Boy, I... remember, Ram, you are in the ranger. Well, I'm sorry, Captain. Wait! But... What's this? Hey. Thanks, boys. This is your split. That's enough for me. Lock these two men up. Give me your gun. All right, get to me. Well, it looks like a frame up to me. I'm surprised that Captain Hayes is not seeing through it. I've a good mind to go in and tell him what I think. Oh, now, Jack, don't do nothing rash. They might throw you in here with us, and that'll spoil our only chance of getting out. Now, just the same, I think I'm going to tell him a thing or two. He ought to know by this time that no ranger would double-cost the service like that. That's enough. These men are guilty, there ain't no doubt of it. And I'm holding them for trial. Well, I say they're not guilty. And all I want is a chance to prove it. Just a minute, Rand. Seems to me that your own ashes weren't so heroic during the time of the raid. Well, I'm sorry, boys. Well, there's only one thing left for me to do. I'm gonna desert and head for across the border. Now, you boys sit tight here till I come and get you out. But, Tex, you can't do that. No, Tex, it ain't right. Just the same. I'm going to do it. He can't desert. No, we've got to stop him. How are we going to get out of here? Now, let me think. I don't know. drop in and pay you a little visit. But it's very dangerous here for rangers. You'd better leave at once. Uh, but uh, I'm not a ranger any longer. Oh, I see. Well, I have to do my number now. I'll see you later. Uh, do you work here? Yes. Why? Oh, I don't know. Just, uh, well, you look, uh, you look a little out of place in a joint like this. Oh, well, you seem a little out of place here, too. Oh, I like it here. Say, maybe I could get me a job and settle down. Yeah, think the boss might like my voice? 
You sing too? Uh, a little bit. Well, that's fine. Maybe we could do a duet. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I don't think I can sing with anybody. Oh, come on. <laughs> Charlie, this is Texas. How do you do? Good boy. Hey. Ain't that fellow a ranger? No, that's Tex Rand, a deserter. Didn't you read the notice about him in the Post News? Maybe there's a reward out for him. Think we could turn him in? And I don't know about that. We might be able to use him. He ought to know a lot about what the Rangers are doing. You mean cut him in? Sure, cut him in. And cut him out in the usual way when we're through with him. Well, I think you're making a mistake. I don't like that guy's look. <laughs> <laughs> You're just sore because he's dilly-dallying with your gal. <laughs> hey, I know this one. That's fine. So do the boys. Sing in the open range, boys. When he finishes that song, get him over here. <laughs> about the rangers as you do, ought to be a lot of help to an outfit that's running cattle across the border. What's your proposition? We'll cut you in with the usual share. How about it? I'll take you up on that. That's fine. Now then, all you will have to do is to let us know when we're liable to run into any ranger patrol.
There must be 500 head in that herd. We'll wait till they get directly below us, then hit them. Ready, men. Cap, there's that double crossing deserter now. I can recognize his horse. Get rolling, men. It's a trap. I told you not to fire until I get the orders. I want to take that man alive. Hold it, men. We can't get him now. That shot warned him. I'll get that songbird yet. Tell you, Jeff, this fellow ran a double crossing. There's only one guy in this organization that would tip off the Rangers, and he's it. Every raid we've tried since he joined up has missed fire. And today they would have got it if somebody hadn't fired that shot. <laughs> What's the matter, Regan? You still burned up about him stealing your gal? <laughs> I don't think that makes any difference because you weren't getting anywhere with her anyway. You ain't worrying me none on that account. Because ain't nobody going to steal any girls from Butch Regan. No? <laughs> well, it certainly looks like he's doing it. <laughs> I'll fix that two-timing canary. <laughs> Man, you ain't fooling no one. You're a Jonah to this outfit. It's time you moved along. Things ain't been the same since you came here. So I'm appointing myself a committee to see that peace and quiet is restored. Well, it's gonna take more than a committee of one to do it. Tex, please. It's all right, Louise, I can handle this. Well, then you better start. Oh.
worry, Tex. He's going to get even with you for that. I'll watch him. What did you do if you got a real fighter, eh? <laughs> a canary, eh? Well, what do you think of him now? I still say he's tricking us. Yes, sir. He certainly showed you a nice trick. <laughs> Jeffrey. Those are the two rangers we framed when we knocked off the walker herd. We better get them. Easy, Regan. Let's wait and see what their game is. Well, uh, ain't you boys making a mistake? I never saw you before. Who? Hmm? Why, Tex, don't you remember your old pals? I'm Doc and he's Pee Wee. Sure, you remember. Tex, Doc and Pee Wee. I'm afraid you boys have got the wrong man. It ain't right to deny your old pals like this. I bet you got ambrosia. Maybe somebody hit you over the head. Somebody else is gonna get hit over the head if you two wood ticks don't quit bothering me. Now get out. Now, Tex, don't be too hasty. You just come along with us to a doctor and you'll be your old self again in no time. Thought I told you two fellas to get out of here. I couldn't mind to shoot the daylights out of both of you. Now get out. Poor old Tex. He's crazy. Say, Doc, what did you say he had? Ambrosia. I know, uh, amnesia. What's that? I think it means he's got the collar wobbles. What's that? I don't know. I read it in a book one time. Oh. We'd better get out of here and wait for Tex outside. Surely, Tex, you remember those two men? Oh, I remember them all right. They're rangers. They're over here trying to collect the reward for my capture. But they're not going to get away with it. Oh, I see. If you'll pardon me, I think I'd better keep my eye on them. Of course. Pick up some of the boys and follow them. Right. <laughs> nice going, you two. You walk right into a spot where a ranger's about as welcome as smallpox. What do you want to do, get us all slaughtered? Ain't you really got collie wobbles? You two are the only collie wobbles I got. I had to do that to keep that gang from getting suspicious. I hope it worked. They're rangers, all right. All three of them. Come on. Then you're coming back with us, Tex? No, 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 I... I can't do that. You know, you boys shouldn't have broken out. I'd have had you cleared in a few more days. But Tex, we wanted to take you back to the Rangers. Retire! Get that gun, boys.
Well, he got away, but he won't stray far as long as we have these two. Take him up to hideout. Come on, you. Capitán, alguien viene por allá. Señor Rand, so we meet again, and it's lucky for me that we do. You know, you told me one time that if I ever needed help to call on you. Well, I'm sure needing it now. But, uh, of course, Señor, I am at your command. What can we do? Well, you know, I've got the goods on this gang of cattle rustlers that's been working from your side of the border. But they've captured two of my pals. And unless we work mighty fast, something's liable to happen to them. The rurales also have been working on that case. But so far, we have failed to secure sufficient evidence. We will be greatly pleased to assist you, senor. Gracias. I'm glad I found you. They've taken your two friends to their hideout in the mountains. I think I know where it is. How do I know this isn't a trick? I thought you went with that gang. Of course not. I've been investigating them for the Mexican government. Si, si, senor. That is correct. We thought it would cause less suspicion to employ an American Secret Service operative. Well, uh, well what are we waiting for? Gotta do with these two hombres, Pete. I think it best we cut their throats. Ah, uh, that's too messy. Bullets is a lot cleaner. Or maybe we could hang them. Hanging is too quick. It spoils the fun. First, we should cut off their ears. That's a good idea. With one slash like this, I do it. Wait a minute. What do you want to do? Scare him to death? Wait till Rand gets here and let him in on the fun. Friends leading a bunch of rallies, and they're headed this way. What did I tell you? Regan, you get down there and tell him that he'd better come alone if he ever wanted these two horse flies alive again. And post yourselves on each side of the canyon. I'm taking no chances on him getting loose this time. Pete, you stay here and watch these two. Hey. Maybe now I finish this job. Jeffrey says you better leave the Ruralis here and come alone if you want to see those two friends of yours again. Oh, don't do it, Tex. That is impossible. 
My friends are in danger, and I'm sticking by them. You can't, Jack. They'll kill you, sure. That's the chance I've got to take. Capitan, if you hear a shot, come on running. Muy bien, senor. That knife ain't sharp enough to cut nobody's throat with. It is the sharpest knife in all Mexico. Soon I show you. Oh, it ain't even fitting to cut cheese with. If I'm gonna have my throat cut, I want a clean job. Sure. What you mean? This knife is no good? It will cut anything. Oh, it won't even cut rope. With one slash like this, I do it. Ah, that's nothing. Let me see you try it on a real rope. I'm so sorry. Do you feel better now? Please, I know. Some of you go above. Make sure that Rand is in the clear so you won't get Regan. Come on. Come. Now remember, boys, don't get Regan.
that gets away, they'll head for their horses. Amigo! You double-crossing deserters, I've got you right where I want you. You're under arrest. Wait a minute, Beef. You're making a mistake. Rain and I had this whole thing framed to capture this gang. You what? That's right. <laughs> well, I see you got one of them, Rand. Yes, sir. The leader. With the help of the Mexican Ruralis, we wiped out the whole gang. That's fine. Uh, Captain Hayes, I'd, I'd like for you to meet uh, Miss Rogers. Uh, she helped us in the capture. Howdy, Miss Rogers. How do you do, Captain? Lock him up, boys. Come on, get going. We're riders of the Rockies, now we're four instead of three. We'll always stick together. Heck, Doc, Pee Wee, who's late? I guess that's me. We're riders of the Rockies, and the life is wild and free. We give you law and order. I'm Peg. I'm Doc. I'm Pee-Pee. <laughs> 